Hey everyone, and welcome to our session on what's next with e-commerce and Gatsby. I'm Shane Thomas, I'm an engineering manager at Gatsby, and you'll also be hearing from Jack Selwood, a product manager at Gatsby. If you came for another session, unfortunately you're stuck with us, but we're going to be talking about how we made some changes to the existing Shopify plugin and got some really amazing results. Go ahead and take it away, Jack. Thanks so much, Shane. I'm so excited today to talk about e-commerce using Gatsby and Shopify. Businesses love Shopify. They also love Gatsby. But for Shopify specifically, they love the customers are able to quickly and easily enter their information at checkout. They love the easy order fulfillment and product catalog management that Shopify has to offer. And just generally, businesses love how Shopify is the best e-commerce experience on the web, and it's an amazing back office for them running their online business. And when you pair Shopify with Gatsby, you get a faster site. And this faster site means fewer bounces. Google did a study a couple of years ago that 50% of visitors will bounce after a three second page load. And so if we look at this on a per site basis, the site at the top here is a monolithic Shopify site. And the site at the bottom is a headless Shopify site using Gatsby. And the thing to point out here is yes, page load is significantly faster in the second site, but also look at CPU usage on the right. The second site is less than half the CPU usage of the first site. And so for visitors who are maybe accessing from their phone, I know I've purchased plenty of things riding back in an Uber, um, you know, that, that extra CPU usage uh, savings really matters. It makes the site load a lot better over an intermittent data connection, you know, situations like that. And really your website, your e-commerce site has to survive intermittent mobile data connections today more than ever. Johnny Lin, engineering manager at Flamingo said, we wanted to focus on performance at the beginning of the project, having it baked in. It's easier than trying to make an already built website perform later. And as an e-commerce site, performance, SEO, and conversion is super important and Gatsby takes care of this for us. And so this is a perfect example of how Gatsby sets a minimum bar. And then any time you spend trying to improve performance or SEO, raises that bar even higher. Gatsby also enables you to choose the best tools when you pair it with Shopify. So developers, you get best in class tooling. You can in include whatever NPM or open source projects you want into your site. But it also means that Gatsby's ecosystem of over 2000 plugins accelerates your project. And then finally, as your business or brand grows, you have the flexibility to swap different services in and out from your project, as opposed to starting the whole thing over. So all in all, e-commerce with Gatsby uh, paired with Shopify is a match made in heaven. Brands are growing with Gatsby and Shopify. Again, things that lead to that millisecond page loads mean a lower bounce rate. SEO-friendly markup means your site's more discoverable, and a flexible architecture means that you can choose the best tools as your brand grows and evolves. I want to walk through a few case studies today about how these brands are growing, starting with Corey Cummings from Pack Digital. Pack Digital has been building their livelihoods. I talked to the co-founders for the last six or seven years by building Shopify sites. They've built over 100 Shopify sites, and the last six of those have been headless Shopify sites with Gatsby. And when I asked them if they build their next Shopify site using Gatsby as well, they said, we're never going back. They're never going back to the days of using a completely coupled monolithic Shopify experience. They're ready for the future. The brands that they're building for are expecting and demanding the performance that only Gatsby can offer. Daniel Archer, VP of engineering at ritual.com said, we were looking for opportunities to combine a powerful CMS with React and styled components for maximum composability while still maintaining a static site for optimized SEO and page load times. Again, Gatsby sets a really great foundation that anything you build on top of will be even better, even more performant, even more SEO optimized. Finally, Andre Zimpel, who you'll hear from later in the conference, built this site, a popular vegan food blog in Germany. And what's unique about this site is it's not just Shopify and Gatsby, it's also using Contentful. And this is important to point out how you can pick the best tool for the job. This is a blog, and so composing content is the livelihood of this blog. And Contentful is a great experience for that. But for the e-commerce portion, Shopify is fantastic for fulfilling orders and handling payments. So what's next? I just talked about a few examples of people building successfully with Shopify and Gatsby already. So where are we headed? I'm excited today to talk about next-gen Shopify with Gatsby. And personally, I'm just thrilled with what this means for the community and the ecosystem. We really wanted to listen to our users and from research, I talked to, oh my gosh, countless users, 
And it became clear that Gatsby sourced Shopify needed to scale to thousands of products. People wanted reliable and consistent build times. And then Shopify's API can sometimes be challenging. And so we wanted to solve the complexity and remove some of that headache from, for, for developers. And then we wanted to enable content editors for the first time to actually be able to preview their content before they publish. We wanted to do all of this within the Gatsby ecosystem on top of the Gatsby ecosystem. And that means supporting the content mesh. Very often, whichever source plugin you're using on your site, wherever you're sourcing content from, whether it be a GraphQL endpoint or Contentful or WordPress, whichever source plugin is the slowest or maybe not the most performant, that's what's gonna slow down your preview and your build times. And so we wanted to raise Shopify to the, the level of quality that we've seen from source plugins like Contentful and WordPress to make the experience of Shopify working within the content mesh alongside other CMSs a fantastic experience. And so today I'm thrilled to talk about Shopify 2.0 and how Shopify Gatsby, uh, Gatsby Store Shopify Experimental is bringing incremental builds for the first time, a CMS preview experience for content editors, and then an it just works experience with Gatsby Cloud. And the performance you'll see is staggering. Going from 132 seconds with a cold build on Gatsby Source Shopify to eight seconds on Gatsby Source Shopify Experimental, that's a 16 times faster incremental build time performance improvement compared to a cold build. It means for the first time your store can support about 10,000 products up to. And it also means that cold builds without a cache will be about 18% faster. What this translates into is fewer coffee breaks. Um, you know, maybe that's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. I'm a huge fan of coffee. Um, and so maybe this is going to encourage me to keep coding because I don't need to wait minutes or, you know, tens of minutes sometimes for, for a, a build without incremental builds to finish. What that means for marketers or for the business is that, that you can ship new products without a complete rebuild of the site. So when you, you know, that upcoming product launch or product drop that you have, you can ship with confidence that when you publish those products in Shopify, they'll appear on your Gatsby site within seconds or minutes. It also means you can upgrade, update your product catalog instantly. So as you're making tweaks to maybe pricing or product descriptions, you can do that. And then finally, content editors no longer have to publish content in order to preview it. They can actually preview it from the get-go without publishing. So now I'm excited to hand over to Shane where he will show you all of this in action. Oh, wow, even our presentations are fast. I was just taking a quick coffee break. But let's look at how we actually accomplished all this. We started by looking at a 500 product Shopify site using Gatsby Source Shopify. And we realized that on Gatsby Cloud, we could build that site in about two minutes and 12 seconds. And that's not bad, you know, being able to build a 500 product site in just about two minutes. But after thinking about it, we knew we could do better. But in order to do that, we had to start completely over. We need to rethink the entire integration from the ground up. The first thing we wanted to do is make sure it was as easy as possible to connect your Shopify site with Gatsby Cloud. And so we created an auth workflow so you didn't have to copy and paste or create a bunch of webhooks within Shopify's UI just to get it to work with uh, Gatsby Cloud. And you can see here, Shopify is added into Gatsby Cloud Admin. You can use some information from your Shopify store and all the hard parts about setting up that integration are done for you. The next thing is we realized we needed the best way possible to get a lot of data out of Shopify's API as efficiently as we could. And rather than using the storefront API, which is what Gatsby Source Shopify currently uses, we decided let's use the bulk API, which is best set up to getting that mass amounts of data out of the API as quickly as possible. So we created a new source plugin called Gatsby Source Shopify Experimental, and we used it on that same 500 product Shopify store. And when we ran builds with this new source plugin, we are now getting about one minute and 48 seconds. So that's pretty good. We have about an 18% improvement just right there. But that wasn't good enough. We weren't done yet. We realized that during the build time, it goes and downloads a whole bunch of images from Shopify. It has to then use Sharp to process all those images and create all those different variations. And for a 500 product store, that's already a minute of the build time right there. You can imagine as you build even even larger site, a thousand products, 10,000 products, it gets even a 
more intensive of a process and it even increases build times that much more. So we figured, why don't we eliminate this step? Let's use the Gatsby plugin image, a new image plugin, with our Gatsby Source Shopify Experimental plugin and tie that into Shopify CDN. And by doing that, we were able to cut our build times down from two minutes plus to now under a minute. So that's over a 50% improvement on that same 500 product Shopify store. As you can see, we were certainly getting somewhere, but we weren't quite done yet. On Gatsby Cloud, we have incremental builds. And by doing that, we can make sure that data updates, like changing a product's title, content, uh, images, adding different variations of the product, or changing prices, wouldn't have to trigger this intensive one minute long build. So by introducing incremental builds, we now were able to get eight second build times. As you can see, that's a 94% improvement from where we started, being over two minutes, to now being under 10 seconds for almost all content changes on your Shopify site. And this is just the beginning. We have more ideas, like adding multilingual support. But I'm gonna go ahead and toss it back over to Jack. Thanks so much, Shane. I'm so excited about what this means today for developers who are gonna get started with Gatsby Source Shopify Experimental and know that this is just the beginning. We're thrilled to be thinking about or excited to be thinking about what's next for e-commerce with Gatsby and Shopify. And we'll have more updates to share in the coming months. So where to go from here? Get started at gatsby.dev forward slash Shopify to try out the new documentation in Gatsby Source Shopify Experimental on GitHub. Thanks so much.